Prior to the duplex ultrasound, prepare the patient for the examination. Warn them that the exam initially requires the probe to be placed in their groin. Have them lie supine on the table. Tuck a towel or washcloth into their underwear to keep the gel off. Ask the patient to bend their knee a tiny bit to relax it out to the side in a frog leg position. Too much bend at the knee can make it difficult to find the popliteal artery. Every formal image is required to include 2D, color, and Doppler. Thus, at each segment, perform those steps. Remember, machines allow color and Doppler on the same screen. First view will be the Mickey Mouse view of the CFA and transverse plane. Start in the mid to slightly lateral inguinal crease and slide in the crease medially toward the inner thigh and you will cross it. Remember, transverse images are not recorded. They are used to locate arteries as well as aneurysms. Turn your probe 90 degrees clockwise. Remember, this will move the notch toward the patient's head and obtain a longitudinal view. In longitudinal view, look for plaque or aneurysm on 2D in color. Then, Doppler for a waveform. Evaluate the profunda off the bifurcation and then the proximal, mid, and distal SFA. Ideally, track the artery slowly in longitudinal view with color to continuously evaluate the entire artery. This takes practice because you can slide off the artery and miss a segment, but it's the most effective way to locate a stenosis. If you slide off, you can go back into transverse and locate the artery again. Do not just spot check the upper, mid, and distal thigh. Stenosis can be missed in between the segments you checked. Waveforms will help locate where the blockage is, even if you don't actually see it on duplex. Next, evaluate further down the leg. Pick up the probe and place it behind the knee. Evaluate the entire popliteal artery behind the knee by moving the probe down as far as possible until the calf vessels bifurcate. Again, this will produce the 2D black and white and color images and waveform. It's as simple as that. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.